Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Gabe. And I'm Steven with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, October 12, 2022. Be on the lookout for slides and crocs with socks today. It's Chancla Day to help celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Tomorrow, Thursday, is Her Heritage Day. Wear a jersey from your favorite soccer team or country. And Friday is Loteria Day. Dress up as a character from a Loteria card. To help celebrate the culture, SLO and the Spanish Honor Society will be hosting Spring Valley's first Hispanic Heritage Celebration. Christine and Kadersi will Heritage tell us what to expect. Month is usually celebrated on September 15 to October 15 to commemorate the independence of Hispanic countries. It's a celebration that started in 1968 and was later expanded to 30 days in 1988. Felipe is a member of the Spanish Honor Society and explains the importance of promoting Hispanic heritage. Um, promoting Hispanic Hispanic Heritage Month is important to our school community because it's important to be culturally diverse and be able to be inclusive of other cultures. Uh, in this case, it would also be the same if we were promoting a different type of month. There are nationwide festivals that are held to celebrate this holiday. Here at Spring Valley, the Spanish Honor Society and Seoul plan to hold their first Hispanic Heritage Celebration. There will be salsa dancing lessons, marachi will be performing, food vendors will be selling delicious meals, and there will be fun games. It will be a family-friendly event so mark on your calendars and bring your families. Again, that is tonight starting at 6 p.m. We hope to see you there. Now here's Gabe with some news around campus. Thank you. Just in time for Halloween, Spooky Donuts will be for sale this week for Student Council's Spooky Donut Social. It will happen Wednesday during both lunches. You can find them near the cafeteria. Donuts will be $2 and only cash will be accepted. There will also be a donut challenge each lunch. It will cost $1 to participate. Film Club will be having its first meeting of the year in room 312, Mr. Bodenay's room. We'll be watching Hocus Pocus starting at 2.01. Please stop by 312 to obtain a permission slip that you'll need before you can start watching. A conflict overseas is being felt back here at home. Spring Valley has a large Armenian community and they are feeling the effects of a war happening in Armenia. Sinet and Kylie will be looking at what is happening and how it is impacting our students. In early September, Armenia was attacked in three dozen towns by Azerbaijan. The two countries have been fighting for decades over the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh, inhabited mostly by ethnic Armenians, and seven surrounding districts inhabited mostly by Azerbaijans. While it's happening there, students here at Spring Valley are feeling its effects. One thing I want students in Spring Valley currently and in the U.S. in general to understand is that this is not just something that's happening to Armenia, it's happening all over the world. Russia did it to Ukraine. Um, Iran is under big conflicts right now. And the thing is, one, like, whenever Spring Valley students look at it, they're like, oh, just brush it off, but they don't realize that there are people losing family members because of it. Armenian students are hopeful their classmates will show their support through social media and donations. Um, one way Spring Valley students can help out is not, they don't even have to spend money, just spreading awareness about it. One post on Instagram isn't going to take away from their day or from their social media following. Um, and like if you were wanting to donate there are links again on Instagram where you can go and donate um, Strip View Cafe is doing a donation like fundraiser this weekend Sonia started an Armenian club here at Spring Valley and the money they raise will be sent to Armenia the Armenian club is also hosting an Armenian homecoming make sure to check out the Armenian club and help their funding to Armenia you don't have to be Armenian to join Little Armenia at Spring Valley Again, they will meet in room 311 on Wednesdays after school. Attention IB students, 
Please join IB Council's first meeting today in room 810 at 2 o'clock. Connect with your peers and meet your new officers and grade level, grade level representatives. You could be the future business leaders, and FBLA is here to prepare you. Please come and learn about future business leaders of America. FBLA is a student organization designed to build leaders and legends. They meet Thursdays after school in room, in room 325. Are you a comedian, actor, just want to have a fun hangout after school? Join Improv Club. Improv is the art of creating theatrical scenes on the spot. No rehearsing or scripts, just pure fun. If you want a place of expressing your creativity, come to Ms. Cantwell's room, 405, on Thursdays right after school until 3.30. Improv is really looking for some new members, so please come by and check it out this Thursday. Attention seniors, don't forget that your formal senior portraits will take place during your English class next week on either October 17th or 18th. Students must be wearing a formal black dress top or they will be asked to wear the tux or drape provided by Dorian Studios. It is free to take your senior portrait, but if you'd like to order, uh, if you'd like to order them or take extra poses, you must have an order form and money filled out. Seniors can pick up their order forms from their English teachers. See Ms. Verderosa in room 223 if you have any questions. Seniors, let's congratulate Ashley G and Zoya M for doing our shirt design. Check it out and let the sales begin. The senior shirt is now available for pre-sale. Pay the banker either $15, $25, or $30, depending on what you want to order, and then scan this QR code to fill out the Google form. Make sure your name and student ID match your order in order to receive your shirt. Seniors, you know you can keep up on all this information and more if you are following the senior Instagram account. Watch for fun pictures captured and important information Follow the senior account at SVHS underscore seniors underscore 23. Attention seniors, students graduating in May 2023 and their families are encouraged to attend Apply Nevada's FAFSA workshops. Get step-by-step -step help from college representatives as well as general financial aid information. Scan the QR code to register. Juniors, have you noticed the college visits? Juniors and seniors, have you noticed the college visits have been a little different this year? Danny and Brenda help explain the changes and what you can expect. Hi Grizzlies, are you having trouble finding information on college visits? Here's Mr. Tyler, our Spring Valley College Counselor with some information. I'm one of the counselors here at Spring Valley High School. This year I'm focusing on college and career. We are scheduling colleges this year a little bit differently than last year. This year we're offering cafeteria visits as well as after school college presentations. So the way to find out what colleges are coming this year are there's a board in the 800 hall, there's a bulletin board in the cafeteria, as well as on our counseling website, I have a calendar of all the upcoming college visits. It's important for students to research colleges and the various programs they offer, such as UNLV um, has a lot of financial aid opportunity, such as the, the Millennium Scholarship. So it's important to research which colleges offer the programs that interest you. Grizzlies, you can find the Spring Valley Counseling website through our Spring Valley High School website. On the counseling website, you can find the college visit calendar to see when a college you're interested in is visiting. There are also other college-related resources, including financial aid and scholarship information. You have another chance to visit with a college this week. Finally, Friday the 14th, Nevada State College will be at both lunches to talk about all they have to offer. Located in Henderson, NSC has expanded over the last 20 years to include over 60 majors and minors. NSC enrollment is diverse and includes first-generation students, adult learners, dreamers, and immigrants. Find out more on Friday. Resumes can help you stand out and get a job, but how do you know how to format one or what's needed on it? Spring Valley is helping students get resumes ready at our first resume workshop. You must sign up for it, and only the first 40 students who sign up will be able to go. It will be held October 20th at 1.30 p.m. in the library. Use the QR code on the screen to sign up. Now here's Steven with our sports news. Thank you. Our Grizzly football team will be headed to the playoffs this year after another successful win on Friday night against Bonanza. This week, they take on Corano. Anna, Omari, and Amaya are going to look at what, this, at what has made them success this season. The Spring Valley football team has started off on the right foot with several wins, giving them a comeback from last season. Junior captain Alec goes on to quote how they have improved and persisted since last season and want to show everyone what they're about. Um, you know, last year we didn't score too many touchdowns, so this year we wanted to set a tone and show that we're a completely different team, so we wanted to score more. Later on, senior captain Kelsey talks about his goals for this upcoming season and his team. 
Uh, what I'm really looking forward to is winning every game. I want to make the playoffs. I want to go to state. I'm actually looking forward to building our teammates' relationships, you know what I'm saying? But we definitely getting there, and we definitely building every week. Defensive coach, Coach P, states that watching from, from other teams and their own have helped them this season by far, and has helped them be able to counter plays for defensive scores. Um, as a defensive coach, getting uh, defensive touchdowns are always a big highlight. Uh, we have two with Colton Jones and Antoine Locke with two pick sixes. So anytime defense scores is a big, it's a big accomplishment. And finally, congratulations to Spring Valley for making the top 10 Las Vegas High School Football Week 5. If you are out and about Friday, head south and catch our football team at Coronado this Friday. Grizzlies, there's a lot of games this week. Today, women's volleyball game will have a home game against Liberty B team at 5, JV at 5, and Varsity at 6. Then Cross Country will have an away game at Desert Oasis at 3.30. Then women's soccer has an away game at Legacy JV at 6. Varsity at 4.30, and Thursday is a home game against Durango. JV playing at 6, and Varsity at 4.30. Then JV football will have an away game at Coronado at 4. Ending off the, the week is Varsity football playing at Coronado at 6. Both of our men's and women's tennis teams have been killing it recently. The league champions are playing in the Nevada State Championships this week. Our girls team plays on Thursday at 3 o'clock here on our home courts, and our boys tennis team plays on Friday, also here on our Grizzly tennis courts. Also at 3. Best of luck and congratulations on an amazing season. And Lady Grizzlies that are interested in trying out for Lazy Lady Grizzlies softball team this spring and softball and softball intramurals have begun. Prospective softball players should report to the softball field at 2.30 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays to get some extra work in before the season starts. Workouts go from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. on those two days. We hope to see you there. Attention Lady Grizzly basketball players. Women's basketball conditioning has started Monday through Thursday from 2.15 to 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Coach Davis asks that you please bring plenty of water, a t-shirt, and shorts. Anyone who wants to join the team must have a physical completed and uploaded in Register My Athlete by November 1st. There's also basketball tryouts for the ladies, so be prepared. It will be held on November 12th. There will be specific times for each trial based on your level. For varsity, come at 11 to 1.30 in the afternoon. For B and team and JV, Charts are from 1.35 to 3.30. If, any, if you have any questions, please see Coach Davis in room 220. Now here's Gabe with today's weather. Thank you. Although we're already well into October, the rest of this week is going to remain hot with afternoon highs in the low 90s. By next week, we can expect temperatures to drop into the 80s and see some slight cloud cover. Winds are minimal, only reaching about 5 miles an hour, and evening lows stay around 65 degrees. It's pumpkin season, Grizzlies, and the pumpkin patch at Gilcrease Orchard is back. You can pick your own pumpkin for 75 cents per pound. They recommend you go early as most of the good picks are harvested early in the season. As well as pumpkins and other vegetables, there are snacks and cider available for purchase, fitting the fall mood. Go check out Gilcrease for yourselves before all the good pumpkins are gone. They are open Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's fun for the whole family and it's free. Thank you and back to you, Stephen. Thank you, Gabe. I've been loving the re recent weather recently. But in other news, in front of our campus on Thursday, October 13th from 1.16 to 3 p.m., our Spring Valley Key Club will be hosting a gelato food truck fundraiser. They offer small cups for $5 and large cups for $8. Flavors include hazelnut, mocha, almond fudge, dark chocolate, chocolate mint chip, s'mores, and vanilla bean, and even a key lime pie. You can also look forward to the delicious root beer, Coca-Cola, and sun-kissed floats. And can you believe this? They have their own special twisted shakes. Invite your friends and enjoy a delicious cold treat while supporting your community. Did you go to the homecoming game or dance? Are you planning on attending the Hispanic Heritage Celebration or Oktoberfest this month? Those are just a few of awesome events that will be included in, the, in this year's yearbook. Wait, have you ordered yours yet? Don't miss out on all the memories for only $75. Prices go up on October 29th, so get yours online or at the banker today. This was Steven and Gabe of the, of the Grizzly, Grizzly News, News Network. Network. Have, have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.